Hello everyone, this is LangeF channel and my name is Yaroslav Smirnov. In this video we will try to do some unsupervised classification of satellite image data. In previous video we do it manually. But as you understand it's very hard to manually classify all the satellite image because it's a great area and usually it's hard to manually digitize a lot of objects. So there are a lot of automated techniques, automated classification techniques in remote sensing. But uh, uh, they divided on unsupervised and supervised. Difference is that unsupervised technique is just you say for the algorithm how many classes you need and it performs classification. In supervised classification you also show algorithm how it looks at each of the classes. How looks some forest, how looks some water bodies, how looks settlement on the satellite image, and that algorithm perform classification. So here we try unsupervised classification. Quantum GIS don't give a lot of options for the unsupervised classification, and generally unsupervised classification could be only performed with Orfeo toolbox. We already use this toolbox when we done some punch sharpening, and now we try to make some un unsupervised classification. Uh, first of all, we need to make sure that our Orfeo toolbox is working properly. So we open processing options and see that our provider's Orfeo toolbox is active. It activated and here we see some paths to Orfeo toolbox. That means it's insolent and it would work. Okay, now we open Orfeo toolbox in processing toolbox and here learning we have a lot of learning algorithms. This learning algorithm is for supervised classification, train image classifier, classifier for different vector data, image classification supervised and also here we see some unsupervised Cummins image classification. We open this tool then input image. Input image it could be our punch art image but uh, mostly for automated algorithms, Panchar images are not the best choice. That's why we better open our safe image with 30 meters resolution, multispectral. We even uh, could not change our band combination because um, our unsupervised algorithm they don't care about uh, band combination. It use all the band in our um, satellite image. So now we choose our Landsat 8 multi spectral image. And other parameters we could leave by default, but when you would perform an actual real uh, classification, you could try to change these parameters to uh, gain the best result. But now we could change only a number of classes. There are five classes, but uh, more classes, the more precise classification would be. So, for example, it'd be 10 classes and output image, save to file, and let's name it unsupervised. Save. So, it would be our uh, classification result. Then press run button and wait until algorithm work. You see, it's very fast, and we have our classified image. Make invisible our class layer making visible our multispectral layer and now see what this classification result looks like. To do that we need to change style of visualization of this image because now if we open properties we see that it's styled with single band gray and it's made no sense because we have 10 separate classes, 10 discrete classes. In quantum JS it's a little bit tricky to uh, visualize like, categorize rasters because we need to choose single band pseudo color and then we need to load our um, band values. It should be discrete dis interpolation, maximum value 10 as we remember, minimum 0. Then we choose equal intervals for 10 bands. And now program assign each for each band each uh, separate color. Press OK and we need to again classify this discrete image equal n interval 10 colors apply 
and let me see. Yes, we have each color from each of the class, and we could see that water bodies are classified perfectly well. That's that color, I I suppose, but we could arrange it better. We could, for example, remove another values, another classes, and to see only our water bodies. Again, open properties. Let make this layer transparent. This class perfectly transparent, and make this class also transparent to see how it looks like. And we see that we have classified our water bodies, and they are classified pretty good. As you see, it's classified by entirely. So if we need some water bodies, we could choose unsupervised classification. But for classification some other entities, we could, for example, classify some settlements or forest, it wouldn't work so well. That's why we need to use another classification techniques with different parameters. And for example, it could be some supervised classification. And supervised classification would be described in the next video. Thank you for attention.